I'm going to be Google translating Minecraft mobs 8,000 times and then making whatever result I get. The first mob is a pillager, translate, and we got shadow. For this one, I think I'm going to make shadow the hedgehog. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll make his legs longer, and we'll color him fully black. Now let's extend out his mouth, and we'll add his eyes. Next, let's add his ears, and we'll add his hair things on the side of his head. Now let's draw this thing on his chest. Next, let's give him some hands. Now finally, let's add some texture. And I think we're done, let's see it in game. That actually looks pretty good. Okay, his arms look really weird when he's moving. But other than that, nothing seems to be broken. Let's spawn a baby shadow. Never mind, that isn't real. Let's spawn an army of shadows. And let's see if they can beat the iron golem. Oh my god, the iron golem is going crazy. Come on, shadow army, you can do it. And they actually did it. Because Shadow is supposed to be fast, let's see if he can catch a villager. Oh, they're not actually chasing him, they're just shooting. Let's give them all speed too. These guys are way too fast now, this is scary. Alright, I'm going to give Shadow an 8 out of 10, he looked pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper, translating, and we got Knight. For this one, I'm going to make Meta Knight. Let's remove his body, and we'll move his head down. Now let's extend out his feet, and we'll make him a bit circular. Now let's color his body, and let's draw his helmet. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a sword. Now let's draw his wings. Now finally let's add texture, and I think that looks really good, let's see it in game. Okay, I think something is wrong with his feet. Okay, that looks a lot better. His body isn't really attached to his feet though, so that's weird. Let's see a supercharged Meta Knight. Yeah, I don't think he looks that good supercharged. Let's just blow him up. That's better. Let's spawn an army of Meta Knights, and let's see if I can beat them in a fight. This would be scarier if they actually attacked me and didn't just blow up. But since they blow up, I can just do this. And now they're all dead. Well, almost. Alright, I'm going to give Meta Knight a 10 out of 10. I thought he looked really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. What will we get? And we got Shy. For this one, I think I'm going to make Shy Guy. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll move his head. Now let's make his legs smaller, and we'll color him fully red, and we'll add his mask. Next, let's add his eyes, and we'll add his mouth. Now let's draw his belt. Now let's give him some arms. Now finally, let's add some texture. And I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. All right, that actually looks pretty good. Somehow the pigs always end up looking good. He even looks normal when he walks. Let's see if the baby has a floating head. Yep, his head is still floating. But I don't think it looks as bad as it normally does. Let's spawn an army of shy guys. And now let's ride a shy guy. How is he able to carry me when he's so small? I have an army now because they're all following me. His right arm over the mask looks so funny. Let's see if shy guy can beat Meta Knight. Okay, I'm pretty sure they don't fight. Let's ride a Shy Guy with speed too. Okay, this doesn't make him much faster, honestly. Alright, I'm going to give Shy Guy a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a chicken. Translate, and we got Starter. For this one, I'm going to make Quaxly because he's my favorite starter in the new Pokemon game. Let's move his body. Next, let's color him white, and we'll color his beak yellow, and we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's add his hat. Now let's draw the symbol on his hat. Next, let's make his arms smaller. Now let's color his feet blue, and we'll add some texture. And I think that looks good, let's see it in game. Okay, something is wrong with his arms. Okay, that only made the problem worse. Okay, I don't know how to fix this, this is good enough. Alright, his head moves really weird as well. But other than that, I think he looks fine. Okay, I'm lying, it's definitely not fine. Let's spawn a baby Quaxly. Okay, this is even worse, what is wrong with his head? I'm getting rid of this one. Let's see if I can catch Quaxly in a Pokeball. Okay, this joke really isn't funny. Let's spawn a Quaxly army, and let's have them all follow me. I finally have my own duck army. Subscribe to join the duck army. Alright, I'm going to give Quaxly a 5 out of 10. I like him, but he's too broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translating, and we got Strange. For this one, I think we'll make Doctor Strange. Let's give him a neck, and we'll add his head, and we'll color his body blue. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a mouth, and we'll also give him a beard. Now let's add his nose. Next, let's give him some hair, and we'll add his cape. Now we'll add the eye thing on his chest. Now finally let's add texture, and I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. His cape looks kinda weird cause it doesn't move though. 
I also think I added a little too much texture to him. But other than that, he looks good. Let's see a baby Doctor Strange. This is the first baby that isn't broken. This is funny though, he looks like a kid in a costume. Let's spawn an army of Doctor Stranges. And now let's see if they can beat Shadow. Oh, they don't fight. Now let's see if they can kill this villager. Okay, now Shadow is killing them. This 1v1 is crazy. Okay, Shadow had no chance using a bow. I love how far back the army is compared to the babies. They literally just gave up because they were too far. Alright, I'm going to give Doctor Strange an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Picklin. What will we get? And we got Wizard. For this one, I think I'm going to make Harry Potter. Let's make his head smaller. Now let's color his clothes. Now let's give him some eyes. And we'll give him a mouth. And a nose. Now let's add his hair. Now let's add his glasses. Now let's give him a tie. And we'll give him a belt. Now let's add his shoes. And finally we'll add texture. And I think that looks fine, let's see him in game. This doesn't look that bad, but it doesn't look like Harry Potter. Oh, and I also forgot to color his back. Oh yeah, we have to find him in the nether. Oh, he has a gold chest plate now. I wonder if I can give him a wand. Nope, I don't think he wants it. Let's spawn a baby Harry Potter. This looks kinda weird. At least his head isn't floating. Let's spawn a Harry Potter army. And now let's see if they'll fight Shadow. Oh yeah, I have to make them shoot each other first. Okay, Shadow literally died in a millisecond. What about a Shadow army versus the Harry Potters? Okay, the Shadows just aren't fighting them. Yet somehow they are winning. Okay, I think the Harry Potters won this one. Alright, I'm going to give Harry Potter a 6 out of 10. He doesn't look like Harry Potter. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a turtle. Translate. And we got slow. For this one, I think we'll make Q from alphabet lore because he's slow. Let's delete all this stuff and we'll make him into a rectangle. Now let's color the rectangle and we'll add the rest of his body up here and we'll fully outline him in black. Now let's draw his mouth and we'll color it in darker brown. Next, let's add these spots right here and we'll give him his eyes. Now finally, let's outline his back as well. And I think we're done. Let's see him in game. I don't think there's turtles in the nether. Okay, this actually looks pretty good. He's literally moving like a snail right now. Let's see a baby Q. Oh my god, he is ridiculously small. I can barely even see him. How is this possible? Wait, these Qs are swimming in the water. Let's spawn a Q army. And let's give them slowness so they're even slower. They're barely even able to move now. This is crazy. Now let's lure them all towards me. I've been standing here for so long and they still haven't made it over. They kind of look like sushi rolls from this angle. Alright, I'm going to give Q an 8 out of 10. He looks really funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a B. Translating. And we got Rush. For this one, let's make Rush from Roblox Doors. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll make his body thinner. Now let's extend his body out a bit, and we'll extend out the sides to make him look circular. And we'll also do this on the top and bottom. Now let's add his dark grey mouth, and we'll add his eyes, and his nose thing. Now let's give him some yellow teeth, and we'll add some teeth on the bottom as well. Now let's add some detail to his face, and we'll make it a bit darker under his teeth. And I think that's good, let's see it in game. Oh, that is not what we want. Okay, that looks better. Honestly, this might be the scariest mob we've made yet. The way he flies is terrifying. Let's see a baby rush. Okay, that's not as bad. At least it looks like I could beat this one in a fight. Let's spawn an army of rushes. And let's see if I can get away from them. Oh god, I'm still on half a heart. Okay, now we're ready. Okay, he's not as scary now that I know how slow he moves. This would still be terrifying if I saw this in the game. Alright, I'm going to give Rush a 10 out of 10. He turned out really good. That's the last mob. Please subscribe. I don't have an outro.